Baking and Booze, Baking and Booze. It's time for another episode of Baking and Booze. On today's episode of Baking and Booze, we have a special Halloween episode. We're going to be drinking this Dead Guy Ale Rogue, Back from the Dead Dark Red Blend, Curious Beast Cabernet Sauvignon. I like it because it has a skeleton. And to eat, we're going to be making fluffy pumpkin cheesecake. It's super simple and so good. Yeah, hope you guys are excited. All right, guys. Cheers. You're going to start by mixing two 8-ounce packages of cream cheese together in your KitchenAid mixer. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, sucks for you because you can't make this cheesecake. Just kidding. You can use a spatula, but I invested in this KitchenAid mixer. So you're damn right I'm gonna use it. If you ever had Cheetos with cream cheese, it's really good. And I was hoping I had some Cheetos, but I don't. Whatever. All right, so you're gonna mix it until it's nice and fluffy. Two packages, eight ounces each, 16 ounces of cream cheese. In case you're bad at math like me. <laughs> all right. Gonna scoop it all back in there. Make sure that it all gets fully incorporated. Whisk it for a little bit more. Now I'm gonna add two thirds of a cup of sugar. Oop. One third of a cup. Third of a cup. For the other third of a cup, I'm gonna do it on top of this container so that I'm not spilling on somebody's counter. We're gonna mix the cream cheese and sugar. And then we're going to add two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So the pumpkin pie spice that we use is actually the same stuff that we use on top of the pumpkin spice latte. So, but I got this from work. I hope you're not watching this, Howard Schultz. Don't be disappointed in me. And don't fire me, please. So I add two teaspoons of that. Again, I'm gonna scrape the sides. Ah, I got on my hands. I hate having these dirty hands. Make me so uncomfortable. P.S. I'm probably gonna wear this costume for some party this Halloween season. So, if you see me out there in this, don't judge me for being an outfit repeater. I think it's really cute. That's all. All right, now we're gonna add the eggs in one at a time. You always wanna crack them on the side and then add them in. That way if there's any shell in there, or if there's any like blood spots or something, you can always dump it out. Mix until just incorporated. And then add the next one. All right, those eggs are incorporated. Coconut water, for when you got really drunk last night and now you need some electrolytes in your life. So I know this is a Halloween episode, but since this is baking and booze, it's also an Oktoberfest special episode. All the beer, all the time. So that explains my costume. I hope you guys like my leader hosen. One beer down, and I had another one earlier. Now it's time to try this wine. It's a good year. 2016. That was an okay year. P.S. Yeah, I am mixing beer and wine. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Oh, this is good. Mm, yes, 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 yes. It's spicy, but not too spicy. With a slight hint of sweetness. And we're back on baking and booze. <laughs> You're gonna set your oven. Let me check. Oh. Wouldn't be a Hispanic household if there was something in the oven. You're gonna set your oven to 350. <laughs> I just realized I haven't eaten since like 10 in the morning. <laughs> I was wondering why I was so drunk. So I'm gonna make pizza. And it's not delivery. It's the joint. If you want a crispy, crunchier crust, 
you just put the pizza in the oven directly onto the rack, and you'll get a crispy, crunchy crust. Crispy, crunchy crust. Crispy, crunchy crust. You know what else I'm gonna make? Tater tots. I'm gonna make cheesy tater tots. Want to hear the really cool thing about these Dead Guy L Rogue beers? Five, six, seven, eight. Check it out. They glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. Have you ever had beer that glows in the dark? Didn't think so. TV magic. Ain't that the truth. Thank God for TV magic. While we're waiting for this oven to heat up, I'm gonna add this can of pumpkin to my mix. 15 ounces, one can per pumpkin cheesecake. I'm making two, that's why I have two cans. It's like weak old booty sweat. Oh my gosh, guys. So I just went to China. Chinese food over there is totally different from Chinese food over here. Don't ask me how, but it is. 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> Luckily, Monster Mash hasn't come out yet, so I haven't had to take a shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this piece is definitely ready. Now we got our tots. Then we're gonna put it in the broiler for a little bit. <laughs> Pizza's ready. It's so loud when I'm drunk. This is annoying. I'm annoying. <laughs> Those are nice and cheesy. I'm gonna go pee. Try peeing in Lederhosen. Not that simple. So now you have this fluffy pumpkin cheesecake mix, and you're gonna add it to this ready crust grand pie crust with two extra servings. I mean, I ground up honey made graham crackers and made this crust by myself. Put it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, Google. Set a timer for 35 minutes. Pizza party break, guys. We'll be back after this commercial break. It's 8.05, 8.05 p.m. I'm a grandpa, officially. Can you guys tell that I'm drunk? Because I'm drunk. <laughs> and we're set. <laughs> Explain why it looks like you just woke up. I just woke up. <laughs> and I'm going back to bed. Good night. <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode of Baking and Booze Down the Drain. Tune in next time. So I'm gonna soak up the alcohol. And now more alcohol. You know what they say. Hair of the dog that bitch, right? <laughs> okay, after you let it set overnight, you gotta slice into it. Mm. So good. Dracula and his son. 